I'm always over there. She said, yeah. So I said, I said, Mom, oh, you can't leave this stuff in the stove. I took, mm-hmm, cut the, uh, the uh, stove off, put it in a bowl, put it over there on the table. Mom, I can't believe you did that. She said, what? Did you just do that? Yeah, with me. She said, you only five years old and you doing that. I said, I guess I want to be a cook. Next month, this was in August, ninety. In September, when I was turning six, I told my aunt Judy I wanted to be a cook. Let's make some baked ziti. Let's make some baked ziti. I was like, okay, make some baked ziti. So I, but I never heard, heard of it before. So that's fine. Let's just make it. So the, the onions are getting soft, and the peppers are getting soft too, so I'm going to put this ground beef in it. I don't have to do all that. I just eyeball it. I love cooking. So, the rest of the story, she said, we just made some baked ziti. So, when we made the baked ziti, she didn't put all that extra stuff in it, like sour cream. Is it ready? It's ready for the noodles. We're going to be using penny noodles. So she is two years old and she asked for seconds. No, two years old, I asked for seconds. She did that night. She did that night. So, I got to my own oven on a 454 hour. When it's not pink no more, you know it's, it's nice and ready. This gonna be the bomb, cause I'm gonna add some, some new to it. Put my thing on. Twelve minutes. My family love, love. So I gotta turn this up. Oh, look good already. Let me do that to it. Mm. 